Hey, hey, happy people. So today, I am going to make apple dumplings. I feel like making apple dumplings. It's a dreary day. It's sprinkling rain, like not raining hard, but sprinkling rain. I just got to work, so I'm going to head to the store, get some apples and probably some pie probably crust. not going to make the pie crust. I'm going to probably pick up a store about, especially if my local grocery store has a... Uh, vegan one and if they don't then I will make one I don't want to go all the way downtown it's like 45 minutes out of the way to go where I know they're vegan at but so I'm going to leave here go to the grocery store get the apples and the pie dump, pie shell and go home get out of these work clothes and we'll get started so see you in a minute All right, so first thing first with apple dumplings, you want to make your syrup. Even though that's not how I started, I started cutting my freaking apples first and then realized I forgot to make my syrup, so don't make my mistake. Uh, turn your fire on. This is two cups of water. And two cups of sugar. This is making six apple dumplings. And we have... Uh, tape, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oh. Alright, so next we're going to add in a half a stick of uh, butter. This is about four tablespoons. Turn it all up and let it come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, you can turn the fire down while you finish cutting your apples and getting your uh, pie shell ready. But while that's boiling, I'll show you guys how to do the apples. Alright, so you want to cut your apples up. You also want to prepare a bowl of water and lemon juice, key lime juice, whatever. Just keep your apples from turning brown. See how that one's already starting to turn brown as you, uh, while you're cutting. So let's get this last one done. And as you can see, they're already bruised up pretty bad, so they definitely don't need any more browning. Got that done. Set that over there. Give them a little. Now this is probably the hardest part of all. Getting the core out of the apple without actually breaking the apple. Now I have a small paring knife and I have an old school pillar with the like pointed edge so we're going to just see how this works. So start at the bottom just kind of stick it down off in there and wiggle it a little bit kind of go around might want to take your time because you don't want to break your apple in half there we go and then run back around it one more time there go to the top Get in there. You 
you can do this with a regular small knife. You just need to be a little more slower. And just kind of go around, wiggling your knife. You want to be able to try to pull, uh, pour that cork out or press it out, either way. And if you have cork and seed in there, like you can kind of see, I don't know if you guys can see that. You can just go around it with your knife and cut that out. Make sure you get that hard part out of there. Nobody wants that and it won't cook down. And that'll kind of spoil their apple dumpling when they get ready to bite into it. And there we go. Cord just like that. Put it back in the water. Go with your next one. This is the hardest part. <clears throat> guys see what I'm doing? It's kind of going around the core, pushing down as far as I can. And again, you don't want to break it, so be careful. Then come back to the top. Push down. Just kind of keep going around. I think I'm almost about to break this one. There we go. Push it out. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's not. With apple dumplings, from what I've learned, you want to use the Granny Smith apples. They seem to work a little better. They're a little softer, not so hard. All right. One more time. Start from the bottom. Just stick it in just like that. Work your way around. I don't know how good you guys can see that because my hand is probably in the way. Don't get too fast. You'll mess around and break your apple. But, ooh, look at that. That one came right out the bottom. And then, get the top part here. That one came right on out. Thank goodness for keeping an old school pillar, right? That's what I'm saying. This shit is easier than old girl because I got one. So, mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie to you, and I ain't break my apples yet. Let me open that even. Our apples are peeled and cored. Now let's get our uh, spice mix ready and our dumpling. I mean. Let's get our spice mix ready with our uh, pie crust. Be right back. Okay, check on your syrup in the meantime. <clears throat> check on your syrup in the meantime while you are putting your spices together and getting your dough ready. Um, mine has come to a nice little boil. Everything is mixed together, so I'm just going to bring it down to a little simmer so it doesn't stick to the bottom while I finish getting my rest of my ingredients. Okay, so I have got my spices together. This is just some raw cane sugar. I don't have any brown sugar right now, so we're just going to use raw cane sugar. And a mix of, this is cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice with just a little clove, a teaspoon, 
of each with just a dash of clove, not a whole lot. And just mix that all together. I bought a store-bought pie crust, vegan one. Luckily, my local grocery store, their brand is vegan. Roll out so your dough, get you a little soft butter, and just kind of pat you a little bit on there. You don't need a whole lot. You just want enough so your sugar and spices will adhere and give you kind of that buttery crust-like type thing. But you don't have to put a whole lot. You don't want to saturate it where your dough will start being just mush. It won't cook. Now, add a little bit of your sugar. Just sprinkle a little bit on there. Not too much. Add a little bit of your spice mix. I'm running out. I'm going to have to make another set. Get your apple, pat it dry. I put the uh, top side down. That's just me. You don't have to do that. Add some sugar to the middle. Kind of sprinkle it around the top edges there. Do a little bit of your spice mix. Get it in the inside there. Cut you a pat of butter. And put your butter in there. It helps if it's softened so it'll slide down off in there. Then you repeat the process with your sugar. Just pouring it down off in there. How much ever you like, how sweet you want it to be. If you're not using the Granny Smith apples, you definitely want to add more sugar because they're not as sweet. Then we just fold our pie crust over. Close it up. Make us a nice little ball. Make sure your bottom isn't falling apart. Throw it in your pan. Alright, one last one. Okay, so our uh, apple dumplings are all wrapped up. Our apples are all wrapped up in their pie crust. I've taken my syrup off the stove. As you can see, it didn't turn a brown color. If you get little flakes around the edges, just scrape them off with your spoon, spatula, whichever one. You could just pour this directly over it, but I learned that it makes a lot of splatter and this is hot. So I'm just going to ladle it over it. Kind of ladle it over each one so it, the dough gets some liquid. And your syrup is nice and thick. Not too runny. Just keep doing that for each one. Ooh, and I still made a little spill there. But you definitely don't want to like just pour this and splatter everywhere because man, that sugar is going to get everywhere. And ants will come out. So now we're down to the end. I can just kind of pour it. Now, now that that's all in the pan, you're going to put this in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. It just depends on how big your apples are. You'll just take a toothpick and stick in there, insert it at about 45 minutes just to see if your apples are pretty tender. Uh, after that, I would say check every 5 to 10 minutes, just checking on it. When you get a nice good golden crust and your apples are soft enough, then you're ready. But I would say anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour 15. It just depends on how big your apples are. So, we'll be back in about an hour. Okay, y'all. 
they have been in the oven for about an hour now and as you can see try to get the pot holder here Smells amazing, so amazing. Got a little drip off there, but it's okay. It's worth cleaning your oven for. I poked them with a um, toothpick just to make sure my apples were completely cooked through. Gonna let this set. Oh, I don't know if about 30 minutes. You know, gonna let this set for at least 30 minutes. You know, when it's not seventh degree burning uh, temperature. And we'll test it out. That's what I'm saying. Once I scoop it in the bowl. Oh, okay. Alright, people. They have set a while now. They won't give you 7 degree burn. So let's plate these bad boys up. Caramelized. Mm -hmm. Oh, that look like granny. Granny. Let me start putting the ice cream. Oh, you want the ice cream on you? Oh, that shit is. Y'all see that? Apple dumplings with some vanilla ice cream. Homemade vanilla ice cream. How many scoops you want? About two. This two? For making this baby. Alright, now you just need to cut into yours since yours is the prettiest one. Yeah, I need the spoon though. Let me take a picture. Yeah, I need the spoon. Don't need to get it too. Crispy crust, all flaky. See that? You can see your cinnamon and nutmeg. I don't know if you guys can see that. That apple in there. Y'all yeah, see that? All right. Look, well, it's better with a spoon, though. Now, good people. Huh. Alright, happy people. So, this is one upside down, so you can just see what the bottom looks like. Okay, happy people. So, go out, make you some apple dumplings. Let me know what you think about it. And stay happy. <laughs>